This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Kane and I'm doing part 3 of this combiner from Tunjilul, uh, the Tank Alliance. And we're going to take a look at TH38. And this is not bent, this is actually molded that way. So that's, you know, pretty cool. Nice little tank, you've already seen two of my reviews. And uh, I love these tanks. The quality is so good for these little guys. And the paint and the, the plastic quality, I'm impressed each time I play with them. And, uh, you know, they're easy to transform. They pretty much all transform the same way. But it's worth it. For the price, you know, like, yeah, I think without the discount that uh, my son had when he ordered from Amazon, I think it was $65, including shipping. I've seen them more expensive on AliExpress, though, I think. So, but yeah, I could be wrong. So, but I recommend these guys, really cool. So TH38, we're gonna take a look at that. Before I do so, make sure you check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, fantastic online store where you can get your 10% discount code at the end of the video. And now let's roll the intro. Right, we're ready for number three, which is TH38, uh, this guy here. Same instruction as we got last time from tank to robot. Easy to follow. Some of it is intuitive, I realize. And then you have to robot the tank, no problem. And then on the uh, other sh sheet, you have the combined mode. Uh, but uh, you know, that's gonna be for the last uh, video of this, uh, this series. I really dig the paint on this guy. Light beige, you know, kind of desert camo. I don't know, I'm not an expert in all, all things military, but looks really good. This doesn't move, so you have two exhausts here. You have the little antenna, which is, that's actually not bent. This is, that's the way it's done. Uh, like the silver, the chrome, looks really good. Uh, the dark gray with the beige looks really good. All the details inside the tread. Uh, all those little silver dots looks really good the rivet and everything that kind of you know holds the tread in place the tread itself looks magnificent love it cleans up real nice you have the um, you know details in front uh, no mini gun but hey this looks like it moves uh, hold on can I no it doesn't uh, it's just something like that you have the gun which Moves up, moves down. I don't know how accurate that would be, you know, in a combat situation, but it rotates like this. And that's what you get, no wheels, as I mentioned earlier in the other reviews. And then you have the top here. Looks really good. The paint is good, the plastic feels good. The quality is actually good. So I'm enjoying this set. So it cleans up real nice. I really like this, all the little details. But, you know, if you're a tank expert, let me know in the comment where did this guy serve? Because I, I have a feel that these are actual representation of real tanks. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it, they look, you know, like World War II stuff. Maybe World War I, I don't know. Uh, looks really good. So let's go ahead and transform this little guy. Uh, first thing you want to do, same thing here, but him, they unclip more easily you know so that's pretty cool and then you flip the chest different pin here so this one here is going to clip on this guy once you have that you lift the canopy reveal the head nice face sculpt hmm, hold on nah, it's different i just want to make sure because sometimes i overlook things but nah different sculpt so there you go uh, want to keep him on camera a little bit all right so once you uh, have done that you're gonna uh, you might want to unfold the legs he's really tight so that's really good unplug them and then here you have uh, a little wedge for your nail so that you can plug it plug him out remove him there you go 
and the arms it's the same gimmick as the other so it's the double joint so you lift the tab and you unfold it like that and then the hand this one's just sticking out uh, but you can't fold it back so you just leave it there and we're gonna do the same thing oh sorry oh this one actually look at the joint here it's a ball joint inside the uh, canopy so you want you're gonna be able to flip it down like that but and then you lift it back up and then these clips here are gonna go on the inside to give it more stability and then you unfold oh sorry I'm too eager to show it to you and I sometimes forget to show you parts so there you go so this is uh, what's his name th38 so this one's um, you know did I say Jerry or Larry I think it's Larry that's gonna be Jerry and uh, this guy is gonna be I don't know Rick there you go so Rick here looks really good same articulation you have the merry-go-around you have a you know an angle like that the rotation on the head it's uh, not a ball joint so it doesn't have up well you have a up and down because of the transformation or mostly you just have enough uh, you have your ferris wheel uh, no ferris wheel here merry-go-around here and then you can can you do now nah, this guy does not do the johnny cage that's too bad uh, the hands just go up and down they don't rotate and there's no articulation at the foot so very limited articulation on this guy similar to his brothers but he looks good I mean there is some hollowness in the back because of transformation but overall there's no hollowness inside on the outside like I mean it's pretty good for the price 59 bucks for all these six guys Wow um, and uh, maybe over time, I don't know, maybe the plastic is going to be real cheap and dry out and crack and who knows. But for now, I'm having a bit of fun. Now, this guy's gun is which one? Hold on. Let me find it. There. Oh, there you go. That's his gun. Looking good. So there you go with TH-38 in robot mode. And let's do a quick comparison. Something different today. Let's go with Warpath who's a midget compared to or a little person compared to uh th38 uh rick so sorry warpad but you know it happens so there you go so now let's remove the gun let's go to retransform him so simple flip back inside put these together Fold the hand back in, open this, fold it back, there you go, clip, clack, and you want to put this back on, oh, tilt the head, the head back, like this, like this, uh, alright, so when you unfold it back, uh, this part here is going to want to come down, and that's going to be the chest part. Not the chest, that's the connector for the arm, sorry. It's going to connect to the chest. Flip back in. Flip this. Like this. Uh, and then, come on, there you go. And, how did I manage that? No idea, there you go. So we're back in tank mode. And now to do the arm mode. The arms are a little more complicated then well not really these two were you know different not complicated but different but uh, th38 you have to get everything out so you do this part here and then you unfold the legs and they have to remain clip come on And there's going to be something that's going to come clip in. Always on camera. There's going to be something that's going to clip here. And which may or may not be a hand. But we'll see when I do the combine mode. So now once you have this done like that. Uh, this is where it gets tricky on camera. So you want to 
put it like this and you want to hold on what is it showing me i'm just looking at the instructions sorry guys oh yeah you want to reclip this and once that's done you want to i don't know why they do it like that but you want to twist this and then unfold it so it really doesn't matter and i don't know if it's because of transformation but then the the connector here at the shoulder just pops out properly and i think yeah that's it that's going to be that's how it shows on the instruction so that's going to be your connection to the um the robot the chess so there you go so here's final look at rick in arm mode and it looks good so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review we have three more and then after that i'm gonna do the combined mode so if you did like this one please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care